So hello everyone. Uh, in this demo, I will show you one notebook that can be interesting for you. So if you go to, top, to our top station organization and you go to notebooks, uh, again notebooks directory, uh, development notebooks, and you search for gradient free reinforcement learning predictors, uh, you will be checking this uh, notebook that basically shows uh, different aspects of uh, different reinforcement learning based predictors that we have available in uh, reinforcement learning based dependency resolution and in this case uh, there is proved uh, the recommendation engine algorithm uh, that uses reinforcement learning and i will show you uh, how it was done so basically we have a project that states uh, that it is running a Flask application in any version. So there is no version constraint Flask application. There is then provided some Python environment configuration option. And then uh, there is created a pipeline configuration. This pipeline configuration is created on advisor side in a deployment automatically. So uh, pipeline units are autonomously included in the resolution process. But in this case, in this notebook, uh, we have pipeline configuration that is stated verbatim uh, and supplied to, to the resolver. Uh, besides some uh, pipeline units, you can see a step pipeline unit that is called set score. And this pipeline unit uh, assigns, ver uh, assigns scores to specific versions. So in this case, for example, uh, package uh, Flask in version 1.1.2 1 .1 uh, is scored uh, this way in the resolution. This is uh, this uh, pipeline unit is uh, this step pipeline unit is uh, created for each and every package that can uh, occur in the resolution. So you can see it's quite uh, exhaustive. Uh, listing, but at the end uh, uh, we have all the packages uh, that have some specific score that can be positive, uh, negative, and this is basically what we do in pipeline units. We uh, score some packages positively, meaning that they, uh, they should occur in the final result stack, or uh, negatively, meaning they should be penalized from, from the resolution. And uh, after that, there is checked the wall state space of all the possible uh, software stacks that can be uh, resolved. In that case, uh, resolver resolved something like uh, 7.8 million, uh, million software stacks. Uh, and this is uh, the final number. So uh, considering Flask in any version, uh, we can have up to uh, 7 million software stacks that are valid uh, resolutions. Uh, if you take a look at uh, Flask stack, it's not that big. It consists of seven packages in total. So click Flask, it's dangerous, Jinja, Markup, Sage, Verkzeug. Uh, and you can see how many versions of each of these packages uh, can uh, be uh, seen in the resolution process. And uh, this is basically based on the data that we aggregated in uh, solver runs. Uh, just to uh, pinpoint here all the possible combinations, when we multiply all the combinations, uh, there, are, there are something like 97 million software stacks possible, but many of them was uh, tripped down based on the dependency graph and version grain specifications on, on the uh, libraries. So only 8%, uh, roughly 8% of these uh, 97 million packages uh, are a valid resolution considering version grain specifications. Uh, after that, uh, uh, there, were, there were applied to different reinforcement learning algorithms. So in this case, there was uh, temporal difference learning that uh, uses step one. So one uh, package resolved at a time uh, in Markov decision process and the uh, reward signal is immediately, uh, immediately propagated back to uh, predictor. Uh, the, the predictor was configured in a way that, uh, or the resolution process was configured in a way that it checked only 1% uh, of all the software stacks. 
So we were not resolving all these 7 million uh, software stacks, but rather that we were resolving just 70,000 uh, software stacks. And uh, that's the purpose, right? We don't want to resolve all the software stacks, but we want to have a mechanism that uh, will narrow down the resolution process so that uh, high quality uh, software is uh, included in uh, the final uh, software or final uh, pin down software listing, library listing. Here you can see some statistics of, of the resolution. Uh, I will talk just about TD learning in this case because that's the one that was best performing and that is also the one that is used uh, in deployment. Uh, so here you can see uh, exploration phase when uh, when the state space of all the possible software stacks is explored. And after some time, once temperature drops to uh, zero, we hit uh, exploitation phase. And uh, you can see that uh, just high quality software stacks are, are uh, resolved. So here uh, during exploration, we resolve even uh, low quality software and packages that have low score, but we learn, we observe how uh, the score uh, looks like for these packages. And once we uh, turn into exploitation phase, you can see that uh, we have just uh, high quality uh, software. The uh, resolution found candidate that was uh, scored something like 4.99. And that was very close to uh, the best possible uh, software stack that could be found in the world state, phase, state space, given the static score that was assigned to packages. And uh, in that case, uh, the best uh, scored uh, software stack from when we considered all the packages and resolved all, all the uh, software stacks, uh, the final score was something like 5.4. 5.04. So uh, the result software stack uh, did not consider all the all the packages, just one all the uh, result software stacks, just one percent, and it was able to find a very good candidate for installing the software. Uh, then the notebook also shows uh, n step temporal difference learning and uh, Monte Carlo research. So speaking parameters of reinforcement uh, learning uh, dependency resolution. And, and uh, if you go through it, you, you will see also comments and comparison and why uh, we use uh, uh, temporal difference with uh, one step in, in deployment. So you can find it in conclusion. Do you have any questions? Maybe just a short word on the relation to the NeuRIPS conference. Mm, yes, so uh, this notebook was basically presented in uh, NeuRIPS uh, conference, uh, the conference on neural information processing systems or like that, uh, where we showed uh, and proved uh, the reinforcement learning based dependency resolution that we, that we do. Yep. In general, it's a quite interesting conference. Um, the IBM research team that we've been working with a little bit over the past year now um, ask if we have something to contribute. Um, I put the link uh, to this specific slot into the show notes. Um, any other questions to Frido? Thanks, Frido.